So the way I like I like to look at our initiative is, uh, you know, we want to take advantage of all the interactivity that's uh, exploding in computing, and structure and use them to structure learning experiences that are deeply immersive and deeply engaging. So the cognitive science part comes where, you know, we try to figure out, you know, what's actually happening in the brain as a function of all these emerging workloads and what does effective learning look like, right? So so the signature initiative that we have is to use a computer to teach people uh, using what we call an intelligent tutoring system uh, where Watson acts as an intelligent tutor and works with a person in a very personalized fashion. Uh, so, so our global initiative essentially works on a whole series of such technologies. Uh, they're all deeply uh, infused with uh, AI techniques like machine learning and natural language processing. And uh, there's a little bit of cognitive science and a flavor of cognitive science uh, behind what we do. So we are attempting to mimic the best practices of human tutoring, right? Uh, the gold standard will always remain one-on-one, -on -one, human to human tutoring. The whole idea here is an intelligent tutoring system is a computing system that works autonomously with learners. So there is no human intervention. It's basically pretending to be uh, the, the teacher itself and it's working with the, with the learner. And uh, so what we're attempting to do is we're attempting to basically put conversational systems, systems that uh, understand uh, you know, human conversation and dialogue, and and we're trying to build a system that that in a in a, in a very natural way interacts with people through conversation, and uh, the system basically has a, the ability to ask questions, to answer questions, uh, to know who you are and where you are in your learning journey, what you're struggling with, what you're strong on, um, right, and it will personalize its uh, pedagogy to you. We have a fully uh, conversation-enabled chatbot. Uh, chatbot is kind of a, you know, uh, doing it a little bit less justice than I'd hope, but uh, it, it's a fully conversation-enabled tutoring system uh, that's working with uh, students in college and in, uh, you know, in lifelong uh, uh, vocational courses, uh, and it's attempting to teach them, you know, their own topics uh, that they're uh, trying to master at their own pace, and it, it, it's there as a non-judgmental. 24-7 tutor that they can ask all kinds of questions to and uh, it will also answer all the questions that they have. And we're doing this in a partnership with uh, Pearson, which we formed late last year and we announced. Uh, <coughs> and uh, we, we hope to cover a variety of disciplines that are taught in four-year colleges, anywhere from psychology all the way to environmental sciences and, and physics and astronomy by the time we're done. At the heart of our approach is an ability for computers to semantically understand language, right? It's a semantic understanding, but it's not a human level understanding. There's a, there's a fairly deep understanding of, uh, you know, uh, what kinds of questions you're asking. For instance, you can, you can phrase a question in any number of ways the way people do, and the system still understands what the gist of the question is, and it will retrieve the right answer for you. Similarly, it can, it can ask you questions and uh, you will provide your own responses in your own language and it will figure out if you covered what it was looking for in an answer. And, uh, and this whole exchange is also deeply personalized. So it will figure out what the right question to surface to you is based on what you've actually done so far in that particular course, right? So, so to address the former question, it's, uh, uh, there's, there's basically two major com components behind it. There's a natural language understanding system and a machine learning system that's, that's uh, trying to figure out where you are in your learning journey and, uh, and what the appropriate uh, you know, intervention is for you. And the lang natural language system enables this interaction that's very rich and, and conversation-based, uh, where you can basically have a human-like conversation with it, uh, and to a large extent it will try to understand and retrieve the right things for you. And again, the most important thing is that uh, we will set uh, the expectations appropriately and we have appropriate exit criteria for when the system doesn't actually understand what you're trying to do. The learner models are basically a whole bunch of machine learning models where uh, we're taking a lot of data. So uh, depending on how uh, you know instrumented the learning experience is, uh, we can spend time looking at, for instance, how many times have you attempted a question 
how many times have you tried to watch a video how many times have you rewound a video how long have you spent on a learning object mm -hmm. right all of these are indicators to us about um, you know your uh, state of conf uh, confidence or uh, you know mastery over a particular domain right um, and then based on that the system is uh, turning around and recommending something else to do for you right uh, the center thing is basically analytics driven it's all data driven uh, the evidence is data driven and uh, it, it's based on what we think has worked in the past and uh, and at the same time uh, we're also marrying this with the uh, with the rich ability to understand where the learners are through their own uh, language mm -hmm.